Now let's analyze the complexities for coin change problem. In our recursive solution, we are performing recursion inside a for loop. And this for loop goes till the length of the coins array. Inside each call, we're making this many recursive calls, which is specifically four in our example, which we call branching factor. And the maximum depth of recursion tree is equal to the target. So here we're having seven as the target amount. So the depth of recursion tree will be seven, which is when we keep choosing the denomination one. So the time complexity will be the length of the coins array, which is the branching factor here, raised to the power target amount, which is the depth of the recursion tree. So if you have length of the coins array as M and the target amount as A, then the time complexity for the recursive approach of coin change problem that we implemented is M raised to power A. Now the space complexity. Space complexity is order of A for the recursion call stack, where A is the target amount which is the depth of the recursion tree, right? Now comes the analysis for dynamic programming approaches. First, let's analyze the top-down approach. In top-down approach, we eliminate the repetitive operations that we had in the recursive approach. So we are only going to solve each problem only once, but we're still going to go A deep into the recursion. So the time complexity will be order of M A, where M is number of coins and A is the target amount. So we only be having this many unique problems. Now the space complexity. We've taken a map or dictionary kind of object to store key value result for each target, where we have taken target amount as key and the minimum coin needed to make the target as corresponding value, right? So we are starting this map from zero or the starting the target amounts from zero up to A, which is the original target amount of our problem. So the total space it gonna require is order of A. And also we're going to get a maximum A number of entries for recursive calls on the stack at a point in time. So still it is order of A. Now comes bottom up approach. So in bottom up, we took two nested for loops. First loop is iterating from one to M that is for the denominations. And the second is iterating from one to A, which is for target amount. So the time complexity is order of M A where M is the number of coins and A is the target amount. Now the space complexity for bottom up approach. The space complexity of bottom up is order of A as we have taken an array of size A plus one to store minimum number of coins at each target starting from zero up to A.